This is your LMAX Exchange technical update for Wednesday, December 27, 2017, euro dollar. So the euro right now just not doing much, confined to the middle of a range, a key range between 120.93 above and 115.55 below. The 120.93 range high is the 2017 high that was set back in the month of September. And if you look back since July, the market has been chopping around sideways for the most part. 115.55 is that November low that we had seen. So we're going to need to see a break on either end for clear directional insight. But again, given the trend that we've seen in 2017, the move that had preceded that uh, consolidation that we've seen, uh, given that it was a breakout to the top side and a breakout above some major resistance earlier this year in 2017, the bias continues to favor a, bear, a bullish continuation up through 2093, then towards the next measure move extension that would take us up towards the 126 to 127 area. Sterling dollar. Cable, a very nice uptrend in 2017 with the market putting in a series of higher highs and higher lows. The most recent projected or anticipated higher low would now be in the 3025 area. That's the low that we had seen back in October. And the market looks like it could be poised to extend its continuation of this uptrend that will be confirmed on a break above the 2017 high at 3660, opening the next measured move upside extension here up towards the 142 to 143 area. And only back below 3025 would delay this outlook. Dollar yen. So dollar yen confined to a range trade for a good portion of 2017. Gains capped up above 114. Dips well supported below 107. And so the most recent test of the range has come to the range high back in November. But the market hasn't really rolled over just yet back down towards the range lows. So we're waiting to see what's going to happen here. We would need to see a break at a minimum back below 112 to suggest that the market's getting ready to resume that downside pressure towards the range low. At the same time, a push back above 114 and towards and through that 2000, uh, the November uh, peak around 114.70 would negate the range outlook. Euro Swiss has pushed up again to a fresh 2017 high. The market's been kind of squeaking out highs on a daily basis. Overall, the pressure here is on the top side after this market in 2017 made some impressive breaks above 110 and then 112. And the focus now is on a retest of that very old but familiar 120 uh, previous support barrier that had been in place for so long until getting broken down in a major way back in January of 2015. Aussie dollar. So the Australian dollar has been under pressure in the uh, past several months after topping out by a 2017 high. But in recent days, we've seen the market put in a nice recovery, a uh, pushback above 77.30, which was some previous resistance, would open the door for a continued acceleration to the top side, potentially taking this market back into the 80 area. There is some previous support now turn resistance. If you look back at the low that we had seen on August 15th, that came in around 78. Uh, but again, there would be room for this market if it establishes above 77.30 to potentially get up towards the 80 area. Dollar CAD. So Dollar CAD has been under pressure in recent trade, but overall, this is a market that uh, has been confined to a range trade over the past uh, few weeks or several weeks. And uh, the market, uh, this that's when I say several weeks, we're talking about going back to uh, October, late October. Uh, and so the market now is uh, trading roughly between this range 126.24 to the downside and 129.21 to the top side. Uh, and, you know, unless we see a clear breakdown below 126, the market should be supported and could see another bounce back up eventually through the range high at 29.21, taking us up to the uh, next measure move uh, target, uh, which would come in somewhere around the 133 area. Kiwi dollar. The New Zealand dollar has triggered a inverse head and shoulders like type formation uh, after the market uh, was able to establish back above 69.80. It's been consolidating since, but looks like it could continue to extend this correction in 2017 off the 2017 low that we'd seen just back in November. Uh, there's room for this market to run up towards the 72 area uh, before considering a resumption of declines. SPX 500. The S&P 500 never uh, looking to pull back, the market continuing to extend this very impressive run of gains, record gains on an ongoing basis in 2017. 
uh, there's uh, very, very minor support levels. Ultimately, the, the short-term support here is all the way down at 25.57. That's the first meaningful level, in our view, uh, that we need to, to get broken. Of course, you know, you could look at other levels around 26.50 and 2600, but 25.57, this low here, uh, we believe is a critical level that needs to get broken to suggest that the market's finally ready to relent a little bit. Um, and uh, until then, though, there is risk for uh, continued record highs. Gold. So gold continues as we've been talking about over the past several months since 2016 basing out. It's just been very well supported despite some intense setbacks along the way. Very well supported and now looking to put in that next higher low and fresh upside extension back through eventually the 2017 high, 2016 high, all the way up around 1375. Uh, ultimately here, only back below 1200 would compromise this constructive outlook for gold.